As I continue my sewing journey, I'm realizing there's a section of tools that I didn't even know I needed. For example, a tailor's clapper. I didn't even know what that was until very recently. So I got Mr. Icy to make me one. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, uh, I have not been ironing correctly which is probably not surprising because I hate ironing. However, if you want a really good result for your sewing projects, if you are using non-stretch materials, the iron is your friend. However, I have learned that in addition to the iron, you want something called a tailor's clapper, which is literally a piece of hardwood that you steam and press your seams or pleats or hems or whatever and then you put a piece of wood on top of it in order to keep the heat in and not burn your hand or overheat the material uh, for another five to ten seconds to really really get that sewing sewn hem in crisp uh, I thought I'm not gonna spend 20 bucks buying one because they seem to be that much when it's literally a piece of wood. I will get Mr. Icy to make me one. Uh, so the usual wood seems to be oak or maple, which which you don't get in Australia, really. So uh, I found another hardwood that Mr. Icy had some stashes of, which is, I think it's called marabou, I believe. Rubber wood, often made from chopping boards. Uh, so please enjoy this footage of Mr. Icy making this for me. So, I got him to put his touch mark on because he always forgets when uh, doing a proper big wooden pro uh, woodworking projects. This is this is a short five minute job for me. Um, so, 
I think this will be fine. It's it's not as thick. Usually the Taylor's um sorry Taylor's clappers I've seen uh, online are like twice as twice as thick as this, but I think that's really just for like holding purposes. So I think I think this will be fine. Uh, it's we already had the wood. Uh, Mr. Icy already had the tools. So it took about mm, fifteen minutes. So in the scheme of things, it's very low effort. Uh, one thing I did notice initially is as I've been using it, the grains have popped, uh, which is why a hardwood is important so that doesn't happen. However, I will just sand it down again uh, as that happens, and I think I think that should be I think that should be fine basically. So if it's not going to work, there's not a lot of waste in this uh, because it was all stuff we already had, and maybe I do spend some money and it, I could probably find a better chunk of wood somewhere and still get Mr. Icy to put it together into a Taylor's clapper. I don't know if pine, I think pine probably is not necessarily great because it really is a very open grain wood, but we have so much pine. So even if he makes me a couple and they get rotated through, it'll be fine. So do you have a Taylor's clapper? Is this the first time you've heard of them? If so, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any tips for using them properly, because I'm just going to be experimenting for a while. Or if there's a better size or more information I need to know about them, let me know as well. I appreciate you joining me here on this channel. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to see you again. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.